Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Chris and today I just wanted to talk about something I've noticed the past couple of days. So I've been noticing that there have been a good amount of newer players uh, coming into the game and those new players seem to be struggling when it comes to, you know, getting a good KD, um, helping out with the objectives and getting the team the win and also just straight up surviving. So I've put together a short list of some quick tips that have helped me over the time of playing this game and hopefully it'll help you guys out. If this is what your gameplay typically looks like, then let's find out why you suck at Insurgency Sandstorm. First reason why you suck at Sandstorm is that you're running around way too much and being way too aggressive. This isn't Call of Duty and moving around too fast is a really good way to get yourself killed a lot. If you want to be successful in this game and have a little bit more survivability, you're going to want to slow down and be a little bit more patient. One really easy way to fix your overaggression is to pay attention to your sprinting. You know, a lot of people, including myself, have played a lot of other games like Call of Duty or Battlefield that are a lot more fast paced and a lot more forgiving when it comes to uh, your health and the lethality of the weapons to where you can just sprint everywhere you want and there's not really any sort of consequence. But in Sandstorm, because it is, you know, more catered towards like a realistic type of shooter, um, it really only takes one good shot to put you down. So my advice here would be to only use the sprint when you're actually moving from one piece of cover to another. Or when it's the beginning of a round and you're trying to get to an advantageous position as quickly as possible. Other than that, for the most part, you want to be just using your normal run speed, um, you know, where you're not holding sprint and your gun is up, because that way you can actually shoot as soon as you see somebody or if someone surprises you. Um, and you don't have to wait for your gun to actually come up if you're sprinting and wanting to shoot. Um, also, take advantage of the walk. Um, if you hit your walk key, you slow down a lot, but your footsteps actually go completely silent, and it's just a lot easier to line up a shot and, you know, stay a little bit stealthy. Reason number two of why you suck at Sandstorm is not properly utilizing your role or class. The game gives you a pretty good amount of different roles to play. Um, you know, depending if you want to be a breacher and you want to be like inside the buildings up in the enemy's face or if you want to be a sniper um, sitting a bit away, picking people off, helping your team that way. Uh, but from what I've noticed, especially with the new players, is that they're not utilizing their roles or their class's strengths as much as they could and ultimately it makes it a little more difficult um, for people to actually be successful at playing the game. A couple examples I can think of right off the bat is if you choose the Breacher class, you're given SMGs and shotguns. Um, and you know, if you're choosing those classes and you are not inside the buildings, you are not inside the objectives, and you're running around outside trying to pick long-range fights with people with rifles, um, you're not exploiting the strengths of your, of your role. You know, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage and you, if that's the kind of fight that you want, if you want to be fighting longer ranges, you know, across the street, across buildings or whatever the case is, like you might as well pick the rifleman and let somebody else who wants to be all up in the enemy's face be the breacher. The marksman is a pretty good role to talk about uh, when you're talking about the strengths and weaknesses of the different roles that we have available to us. I think marksmen have a really good place in the game. Um, they're very strong when they're utilized properly, but they're very weak when they're not. You know, for example, um, a marksman that would be considered strong would be one that's actually really supporting his team, whether that's moving forward onto an objective or defending an objective. Um, typically a marksman that is in a really good position to help his team is usually off to the flanks, maybe shooting enemies, um, you know, off to their sides or from behind them so that they can take out any threats before they actually get to the marksman's friendly players. So essentially thinning out the enemies before they actually get to the front line. Now the opposite of that is what I usually see new players that are using the marksman role uh, typically do 
whether that's sitting way in the back of their spawn and trying to shoot the enemies from like hundreds of meters away and missing every single shot and not helping the team at all or slapping on all the super fast attachments and being right up in the front lines trying to quick scope everybody again i'm bringing it up again it's not call of duty that's not really the place to do it here yeah you can kind of get away with it sometimes but it's not really helping plus you don't need a grip on a bolt action rifle stop it get some help so know the strengths and weaknesses of the role you are deciding to play and stick to it all right so the last reason why you suck at sandstorm is that you're not playing the objective at the end of the day this is a team game and it's pretty hard to be a one-man army with that being said i think the most important tip i can give in this whole video is that your kd does not matter getting more kills than the other players in your lobby might feel good but at the end of the day or at the end of the match rather it doesn't really define whether your team wins or loses you could drop a hundred kills and you'll probably still lose if that's all you're focusing on this kind of ties in with the last point we talked about which was properly utilizing your role um that goes hand in hand with playing for the objective you know, if you're a machine gunner, for example, and you're set up outside the objective to where you're locking down a lane or a street and enemies can't get into the objective while your team is capturing it, then yeah, you're playing the objective. But if you were that same machine gunner and you were just running around in the open trying to mow everybody down and like dying constantly, then you're not really helping the team and you're just wasting, you know, your life or your wave and it's not really contributing at all so stop obsessing over your kd ratio in a game and go out there and actually try to help your team win matches if you're a breacher get inside the objective fight for it hold it defend it whatever you need to do if you're playing as demolitions whip out that rpg destroy the enemy's technical if it comes up uh, shoot grenades into the objective room to clear it out before your teammates go in and if you're a machine gunner or a marksman go lock down uh, lanes of entry for the enemy team into the objective so that your team doesn't have to fight as hard to actually defend the site once they're actually in there really the best way i can summarize this point is to play for your team not for yourself all right guys so that's pretty much it um, I think those three are the most important things to keep in mind um, when it comes to not sucking at this game and especially if you're new. Leave a comment down below if you're guilty of any of these three points we talked about today. And last but not least guys, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like it, hit that thumbs down and leave me a comment down below on what you didn't like about it so I know what to improve on in the future. I'm a brand new gaming content creator, so not exactly sure what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going along with what I'm enjoying. But any feedback you guys have, whether it's positive or negative, it's super helpful so that I know what to fix if there are things that need fixing and so that, you know, it helps me understand how to create more entertaining content for you guys to watch and for me to create. And if you guys liked this kind of content and want to see what else I'm going to come up with on the channel, then feel free to hit that subscribe button and uh, let's start building a little community. All right, guys, that's about it. Um, I hope you're having a great day, great night, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one.